So this next exercise is a really good chest finisher. It's also some tricep work. Um, I wouldn't recommend it unless you've been lifting a while. Otherwise, you're going to be really, really sore for probably a week or more. So how it's going to work is you're going to start off with incline dumbbell flies. As many, damn it, Christian. All right, let's start over. <clears throat> All right, so this is a chest and tricep finisher. So we're finishing up chest day. Um, this one's gonna be a really tough one. It's a good one if you need a different type of exercise to do or you're bored with your traditional training style. However, I would not do this if you haven't been lifting a while. Otherwise, you're gonna be really, really sore and you don't wanna get any type of overuse injury. It's gonna be really high volume. Um, I'm probably gonna be sore a couple days, which is fine. So you're gonna start off with incline dumbbell fly. You wanna wait that you can get 10 reps. So if this first set you get more than 10, add weight next set. If you get less, drop the weight. So 10 reps here. Then what you're gonna do, keep the same weight, drop the angle, get as many flies as possible. Drop the angle, again, same weight, do as many flies as possible. The reason why we drop the angle is because you're stronger as the angle of a bench um, decrease, or gets larger, so more obtuse. So up here, the acute angle is gonna be the more superior, like upper chest and shoulders. As you get further down, um, you get stronger and stronger. That's why decline bench, you're typically the strongest. So after those three, then you're gonna come behind the bench, go straight into push-ups. Um, I'm gonna do close grip, but you can do whatever you want to. So, we're gonna start off with Floor push-ups, as many as you can get. Then, on the bench, it's going to be a little bit easier because there's a slight angle. And then, go to a 45 degree, as many as you can get. And then you're done. So that's one, one set, all of that. So that's three and three. Those six movements or exercises are six mini sets within this one giant set. So this is what we call a giant set. Um, you can do as many as you want. I'm probably gonna try to do two or three, but um, it's a really good chest finisher. Let me know what you think. If you want to even make it more difficult, instead of doing flies with the dumbbells, you can do presses. That way when you go to the push-ups, your chest and triceps will be fatigued. The reason why we're doing flies first is because there's not as much tricep work and that way you'll still be able to get a few push-ups at the end. So, choosing the order of your exercises makes a difference. And that's why we always have, a, that's why I always do a specific order when I choose my exercises.